This is the most amazing song you will ever hear. Here, hold on. Let me. It has to be on loop for like 10 minutes to get it. Ready? That's one of our songs. We're jamming it for 30 minutes. Motives, Jim, Jim, Josh, John, and Derek. Motives. Motives started. It started as ovation, actually. Me, Josh, and Jeff Kohler in the eighth grade. Jim Dixon and I started to jam. I want to say it was the summer after seventh grade, so that was 2004. And we would just play, he played drums, I'd play guitar. I've been playing for like a year, so. <laughs> we would just write some instrumental stuff. We got our friend Jeff to play bass. And um, we wrote some songs from there. So we were 13 year olds, 13 year olds, 14 year olds. And we were Ovation for a year. And then we changed our name to The Motives. We went into high school, started playing more seriously. Wrote a lot more songs. Recorded a little bit, not too much. Um, <clears throat> then we started playing shows. Played the Battle of the Bands and we won that. So we're like, oh, we should probably play more shows. So yeah, we've been playing shows. It's kind of a sad story. Jeff completely bailed on us. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how we would do that. I, whatever. Jeff didn't want to play bass anymore. Then uh, Jeff became occupied with school and being... So we've got John to fill in, which is a blessing in disguise. I've been in the Rose for like six months, I think. I don't know. Played like five or so shows with them. I don't know about their old bassist, but um, apparently it's going well. Recently we found the need for another guitar, so we asked our mutual friend Derek if you would play, and he has, and he's right here. Like I've been in for like what, a couple weeks, maybe a month. Josh just uh, felt that he needed a, like a second guitar player so he could, uh, maybe because he could <clears throat> concentrate more on his leads and his singing, I think, without having to worry about filling the, you know, the background. Songwriting process, it's like the best part of playing music. It starts with guitar. I've never started a song with just lyrics because that, my brain doesn't work like that. You're so. Why would you have to do that? No, no, no. What do you think about the lyrics? Mike, we have the lyrics. They're right here. Don't even worry. This is it. Basically, you just. Pick up an instrument, you know, whatever instrument you want to play, and um, you start playing stuff. <laughs> Literally, you start playing chords, and you just you just know which ones go right. Even if it's not in the same key, always, you know, you just you just play chords together until you find ones that that seem right. It starts with a riff or a chord sequence, or whatever you like. I don't know. And then lyrics, I've never spent more than 30 minutes writing lyrics for a song because <laughs> that's not the way I do it. Usually I'll pick a line and sing it from there. If it doesn't work, then I'll just choose another line. I don't put too much thought into it. But that doesn't mean they don't have meaning and stuff. They're still, they're still symbolic. But. Lyrics is just like whatever, you just play the chords out. Or I do it on piano. Everyone else pretty much uses guitar, but I use piano. And whatever words you're thinking of, they just you just write them down while you're playing the chords, and that's how that's how we write the song.
We're in El Cajon, we're at Earthling Studios. It's our studio of choice. last three sessions. Really easy to work here. Uh, Mike's a great studio engineer. He helps us out a lot. Well, first we track bass and drums and some scratch guitar and vocals for all the songs. And um, we did that yesterday, so I'm pretty much done with that. We're just doing some overdubs, some guitars, some piano, maybe some synthesized boots. I mean, being pretty adventurous here. So the order of things, first we go through and we do drums and bass. That's like my glory moment. So we record on the drums. John gets the bass done. Do it all with uh, scratch vocals, scratch guitar, scratch everything. Even Derek's on the scratch. It's awesome. <laughs> and uh, after that, we go through and take each song by itself. Do all the music for it. And then we do the vocals. Well, Josh does the vocals. And today was a, was a mission to getting the lyrics right for Josh, but uh, hopefully we'll finish that all today. Yesterday, we got all the, the drum and bass done. Just uh, knocked that out in a couple hours. It's pretty quick, except for G minor took a long time. And then uh, we, we immediately got to work on all the guitar layers. We, we, we probably have like six different guitars on that track, not including the acoustic, and, and we also have like piano. I know, it's pretty crazy. I think it's the most layered thing they've done ever. Yeah. Yeah, it's like way more experimental than any of the other stuff they've been doing. It is 12.02. Oh, it's Monday. 12.02. We have school today. Sunday night. We just finished up a it's long weekend morning. of recording. This recording is freaking awesome. Yeah, it's we're good. Finishing time the time well spent. Finishing mixing of the last song. So um, after that, I think we're going to master them all together. And it's going. All of this stuff is going out. We want everybody to hear this. Um, it's good stuff. I mean, everybody needs to hear these songs, these four songs. No, but you know? seriously, they're legit. It's, it's very legit. Dude. It's so legit other people might want to quit. But now she's gone. And G minor, G minor is, G minor G is going to be our epic, the closest thing to prog rock that we've had. <laughs> it's, it's not prog it's, it's rock, it's kind of, it has a prog rock. It, but it's, um, 
Yeah, twelve dollars yeah. for bread. Yeah, she called it was fun. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. It was All our parents are gonna like one of the better it's experiences. Late. Yeah, it's like twelve o'clock on a Sunday night, <laughs> and we're and like, I don't have my keys. Yeah. So my car is gonna be. We're something like an hour away from home. So. Yeah, like uh, seriously, I feel really good about this. It's totally worth. It. Definitely worth the money and it's the time and the effort. Well, yeah, so, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go finish up yeah. the mixing and. Uh, I think he's done with the mixing. Fuck you later. Yeah. Fuck you later. later.